75 gallon aquariums are one of my favorite tank sizes. With its depth and four foot length, it opens you up to a wide world of stocking possibilities. One thing that you'll have to decide on is which fish species will be a focal point for your new 75 gallon aquarium. So let's head into the fish barn and take a look at some awesome centerpiece fish for your 75 gallon aquarium. So let's start off with an aquarium classic, the angelfish. These fish originate from South America and with their long wing-like fins have been showstoppers for generations. Due to selective breeding, you can find angelfish in a wide variety of colors and patterns. But my personal favorite is still the natural fish with the silver body and black bars. One thing that makes angelfish a great centerpiece fish is that they'll do great in the aquarium as either a single specimen or as a group. You will need to keep in mind that angelfish can get territorial and aggressive when pairing off, spawning, or raising fry. That you don't want to pair angelfish with fish that will nip at their long flowing fins. So some tetra and barb species may be out of the question. If you're looking to set up a 75 gallon planted community aquarium, an angelfish would be a great addition. Since we've just spoken about angelfish, we can't leave out its rival, the discus. Well, not for beginners, discus are a great centerpiece fish with their many bright colors and unique body shape, making them an eye catcher in any appropriately sized aquarium. In the past, most discus were wild caught and required softer water, earning them the undeserved reputation of being difficult to keep. Due to captive breeding, discus have become hardier and a lot easier to keep. You can even keep them in areas that have harder, higher pH water. So today, I would consider discus an intermediate level fish. You do need to keep in mind that discus do require warmer temperatures, and you'll need to keep the temperature in your aquarium above 82 degrees. This higher temperature does limit your tank mate somewhat, but there are some classic tank mate options from Cardinal Tetras to German Blue Rams. As long as you pay attention to their temperature requirements and keep a clean, well-filtered aquarium, Discus will do just fine for you and make a great centerpiece in your new 75 gallon aquarium. Since we just spoke about discus, we can't leave out severums, which are often described as the poor man's discus. These majestic fish get to be about 10 inches long with a fair amount of height. Along with their wonderful looks, severums have a great personality, which really sets them apart. While they're not the most aggressive fish in your tank, if bullied, these fish will hold their own and now get pushed around. I currently have a pair of red shoulder severums in this 245 gallon tank with a bunch of other larger South American cichlids. Severums are found in a wide variety of colors ranging from red, gold, green, and many others. Due to their size, I wouldn't keep more than a pair in a 75 gallon tank, but you could pair these fish with a lot of larger sized tetras and other smaller South American cichlids like a pistos. You will also need to keep in mind that severums are not plant safe and will dig up or eat any plants you put in the tank. Geophagus are some of my favorite fish in the aquarium hobby. Much like the severums, what really sets them apart is their behavior. They're always moving the substrate around and remaking the tank and digging little pits and holes. They're almost like the Neolamprologus species that you'll find in Lake Tanganyika. There are a wide variety of geophagus species with different coloration and patterns. They'll all have a similar behavior when it comes to redecorating. You'll have to be patient with these fish because it'll take them some time to grow up, but you will be rewarded once you see this beautiful fish with its long flowing streamers. Like the severums, they are fairly peaceful, but can hold their own when needed. And in terms of tank stocking, they're pretty much similar to the severums. Larger tetras, uh, smaller South American cichlids like Apistos, and due to their digging, definitely not plant safe. So let's leave South America and head to Lake Tanganyika. So Trophius are a really great fish for a 75 gallon tank. While you would not keep a single fish of these species, a group of Trophius would be a great focal point that would be absolutely stunning in a 75 gallon aquarium. 
Like a lot of the fish we've discussed earlier, you can find the Trophius in a wide variety of color forms and patterns. Since they are more of a schooling type fish, I would definitely start out with a group of six or more. These fish breed fairly easily and soon you'll have many more. And a bustling colony of Trophius is definitely something to behold. I have found that these fish do best in a species tank with plenty of rock work. These fish are grazers, so you'll definitely need to make sure to provide them with plenty of vegetable matter in their diet. No matter which variety you choose, these fish will make a stunning addition to any fish room or home aquarium. Along the same lines, you could also set up a species only tank with Mbuna as the centerpiece fish. Most of these fish will provide your fish room with a splash of color that is unrivaled, even by salt water. But like the aforementioned Trophius, these aren't really community fish and are best kept in species or genus specific tanks. A couple of my favorites are the Yellow Lab and Purple ACI. While I wouldn't do both of these species in a 75 gallon tank, you could go with some of the smaller Mbuna species, but you will need to be ready to react for aggression and possible overpopulation. So you will definitely need to do your research to avoid some of the more aggressive species. A couple that come to mind for me are the bumblebee cichlid and the erratus. So even with dealing with some of the more peaceful species, you will have to deal with some aggression. So you'll have to manage this by having line of sight blocks and providing plenty of hiding spaces. Like the Trophius, these fish are grazers in the wild and do require a vegetable based diet to avoid bloating. So let's head back to South America and talk about the electric blue acara. With its bright blue coloration, this fish is an absolute showstopper. To go along with its beautiful coloration, the electric blue acara is extremely hardy and can handle a wide variety of water parameters and has no specific dietary requirements, readily accepting a wide variety of flakes, pellets, and frozen foods. These fish are not aggressive, so they can be kept with a wide variety of community type fish as long as they are not small enough to be eaten. Since this fish is on the more docile side, I would avoid keeping this fish with more boisterous and aggressive South and Central American cichlids. With its peaceful nature, brilliant coloration, and hardiness, the electric blue acara is a great centerpiece fish for your 75 gallon aquarium.